This Merry suit. Christmas from Capcom. This gift is the double gear system from Mega Man 11. Hey, this is partially wrapped. Or partially unwrapped. What's yeah. with that? Apparently somebody tried to unwrap it and then it turns out they weren't a robot. So and they double... wanted to give it back. This is the story of Mega Man 11. No. Uh, I liked, I actually liked this game. I was... Oh yeah, I mean this is a very good uh, game. I saw from afar the animation and I thought, oh, anime Mega Man, is this going to be like the TV show? And it's like, actually it's decent. I, I, it's kind of weird. I like the backgrounds. I really like the backgrounds. Mega Man looks, I don't know, something about Mega Man just looks weird to me. <laughs> uh, but the game is pretty hard. I mean, I don't claim to be a Mega Man like devotee. Aficionado. Yeah, like a Mega Man diehard. But, that would uh, be belonging to someone like uh, Zeta in the Smash community. Yeah, Canada Man, aka guy that I don't know if she actually plays Smash 4.5, but I assume so. Um, haven't seen him playing, uh, haven't seen it. Well, there was only one station for 4.5, so. Yeah. Anyways. But anyways. Um, the graphics are good. The, the graphics sound are design good. is good. The, I think the sound's good. That's where I really feel like the, <laughs> when you're listening to it, the music sounds good. I wouldn't say it sounds great. I wouldn't say it sounds memorable. Like, but it has. If you go back through all the Mega Man's, there's always like a memorable theme, like in almost every one, except for like six and maybe five a bit. Yeah. But like all the classic ones up to that point, the music's very memorable. And this is basically it gets the job done. Yeah, it's it's like background music. I it's not horrible, but like if you're looking for like something that you're gonna remember and whistle later, like it's not And like make tons of songs out of like in yeah, one certain Mega Man to. song. It's actually not a couple of Mega Man songs actually. Uh, I just find like it's at least the intro it's like bloated with like tons of text like and like tons of story. Yeah. Like actually most of the Mega Over Man narration. Almost. Like the Mega Man games after six had like a lot of story going on for them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is basically Dr. Wily remembers this invention he has. The double when he was like sister. 20 years earlier and then he's like, I'm going to use that machine. And conveniently there's eight robots he takes control of. It, it's, I don't know, it's, it's an interesting story but at the same time it's sort of like you feel, at least I feel like they're running out of story. Like, oh, this device actually pushes the robots too far and causes them to into go into like extreme levels of work or something. Yeah, it, and ba when you use it on your character, your Mega Man, it's basically like, oh, you just can't use it for a while. It's not like yeah, if you use it like too a much, boost. you just get destroyed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing I do like is it's kind of interesting. It's pretty much like a slow mo, or it like lets you hit harder. It does. It does. It depends on what side of the gear you use, but if yeah. you. Where like it slows down lava or slows down like an explosion like it's interesting i wouldn't say it's new but it's kind of it does add like an element to this game that you know yeah especially when you're on low health and you can activate both gears mm. at the same time yeah i i say this is worth it i think for 40 bucks you'd have to be a die, die hard mega man fan um if you only have a casual interest in this game pick it up for maybe 10 or 15 but 40 I think is kind of high for you know it's a pretty good game and I mean it would hold it's you hard up. though we kept dying we kept finding ourselves at the continue screen like it's like oh let's choose a different level because maybe we might do better and it's like nope yeah <laughs> I recommend like if you're a diehard Mega Man fan this is a game for you this is yeah you, this is the game you've been waiting years for just like the other ones that you waited years for but so, like how Mighty Number no. Nine will hold you over for next Mega Man, this will hold you over for another Mighty Number no. Nine. I don't know about that. Mighty Number no. Nine, we both tried, and I found like after five minutes, I just feel felt like I don't care about the story. I don't care about anything. This, I was like, okay, I want to get better, but I do suck at this point. <laughs> yeah, That's at this I point, thought. we should just say we should just go for a lower difficulty and see this, where we go from there. Yeah, exactly. We're playing on normal, and normal seemed pretty hard for normal. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, definitely check it out. It's cool to see Mega Man back, uh, and, and the I level hope... design seems decent. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but 
I hope they, I hope get to see the blue bomber again some at some point. Yeah, hopefully we don't have to wait six years for another sequel, but or I like mean, even a decade. Now that they have this engine, I mean, they could probably whip out a game in like six months. I'm assuming. Hell, I mean, if if you're not gonna do it, let the fans do it. I mean, we all yeah, we, we have Sonic Mario Mania. Maker and, and Sonic we, Mania, but like that. And, and we even have like a fan-made version of Mario Maker in the form like a Mario Mega Man version of Mario Maker. And he's still waiting for Zelda Maker. And Donkey Kong Maker. And yeah. Kirby Maker. Yeah. And Metroid Maker. Yeah. And F Zero Maker. Just make there a Maker. A, there is a Mega Man Maker. Yeah. Okay. Just pointing that out. Like I was point I pointed that out. It was okay. a unofficial just, one. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Alright. Keep on game. Bye.